Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. I did a whole video a couple months back all about Kittle and making your own designs on their website. I'm going to do another video today focusing just on card designs. We're going to make card designs within Kittle. So this video is sponsored by Kittle. However, all projects and opinions are my own. I've heard from you. You've asked me, how do I make my own insert card designs? I want to make my own designs outside of Cricut Design Space, import them, and use them to make cards. I have the perfect platform for that, and that is Kittle. So we are going to walk through the platform itself and how to make three card designs. One of those is going to be print and cut. One is going to be an insert card with a foil design, and the last is going to be an insert card with a pen writing on it. So the techniques I'm going to walk through, you could either go down in the description below and click the links to exactly the designs I made and just customize them with your name, change the fonts up, whatever. So you can change my designs right within Kittle, or you can use the techniques I'm going to show you to make your own designs. So maybe you want to make an insert card all cut out, no writing, no foil. You can do that. Perhaps you want to make a print and cut card. You don't like the way mine looks. You don't like the colors. You can change that as well. So if you're looking to make your own DIY custom holiday cards, Kittle might just be the option for you. And now is the perfect time to make those cards with your Cricut machine. First, let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna use. Then we're gonna walk through Kittle and how to make these card designs. We're gonna upload them to Cricut Design Space and we're gonna make three total cards as examples. But remember, with Kittle, you can customize these cards however you want. And yes, I'm linking to tons of things in the description below this video. If you are on computer, scroll down and click show more. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. Then you'll get links for my full video on Kittle if you're interested in that, the Kittle platform, these card designs, and so much more. So let's take a look at those supplies. Supplies you're gonna need to make your cards are as follows. So I'm gonna do a print and cut card on white cardstock. I am gonna use the scoring stylus for that one. And then just your light grit Cricut mat and you're ready to go for this version as long as you have a printer. The other versions I'm gonna make are foil transfer insert cards and cutaway cards. Now you can buy these or not. So I do have another video on how to use the designs where you don't buy the insert cards and you can head there. But I have gotten quite a few questions on how to use your own designs for insert cards and this would be an example of that. So I'm gonna use those with the two x two card mat and my Explore 3 machine. However, you could use it with the smaller card mat and the Joy or any Explore or Maker because they all work with the two x two card mat. Now the size of your cards doesn't matter, the type of cards doesn't matter. So you can customize this however you would like. These are just the two options that I've chosen to use. So now let's head to Kittle, take a look at designing the cards and uploading them to Cricut Design Space. This is Kittle. I'm gonna start the designs from scratch, but remember, if you wanna use the designs that I'm using in this video, you can head below and just click the design links, open those up and customize them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new project to start from scratch. The easiest way to make a card is gonna to be to find a design. So we're gonna click designs over here on the side, and I'm gonna search for Christmas. When these pull up, if they have a crown, they are part of the premium subscription. The free ones won't have a crown. So I'm gonna choose this version, and I'm just gonna click it, and it is gonna ask me if I wanna replace my current project. So this means if I click replace, it will just make it the correct size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click replace. And from here, I can customize this design. So I can click on any of the words. And so I can retype and use my own name. And then I can also change the colors. So you can make this whatever colors you would like. So if we click the colors down here in the lower right hand corner, we can start picking from a wide variety of colors. So let's say I wanna make this card something that isn't really traditional. I could change these colors and come up with a design that's Christmassy, but not very traditional. And once I like the design and I'm happy with it, we're gonna go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna download, and I'm gonna download as a ping file. Once I download, that will be on my computer, and I'm gonna show you how to pull it up in Cricut Design Space and make a card out of this design. We're gonna use this one for print and cut. Let's take a look at making a cut design with Kittle. So I'm gonna click projects and new project. When I open up a new project, it's a square. You can click settings and you can resize this. 
so I can load more here and I can see the standard sizes that come with the free subscription. If you wanted a custom size, you would need a paid subscription to Kittle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick like a postcard size and you can change the orientation as well if you would like. So let's go ahead and change the orientation to more of a portrait. And I'm going to add an element. So we're going to click Elements. And again, search Christmas. Now I can scroll through these and find one I would like. Now remember, for this one, I'm going for a cut design. So I want to pick simpler designs that will be good to cut for an insert card. So I'm going to go with this fairly simple wreath design. Once I pull it over here, I can resize it. Now when this cuts in Cricut Design Space, it's just all gonna cut and we're gonna put the insert behind it and this is all gonna be one color. So it's not gonna exactly look like this. So what I like to do is change all of this to the exact same color. So I get an idea of how it is actually gonna look. So I'm just gonna pick a color, any color, and I'm going to copy this hex code and then I'm going to go to each of the next colors and paste that hex code. So now I can begin to see what this will look like with cutouts instead of something that's printed. I like that look, so we're gonna go with that. Now we're gonna add some text. So we're gonna click text. You can just add text that's any font by clicking add headline, but you can also find things that are already designed down here. For instance, if I click titles, there's actually a happy holidays here that might work for what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it and add it to my card. I can resize this, move it around on my card. And when I put this on my card, I think I wanna do a foil transfer. The big chunky font isn't gonna really work for the foil tool. So I'm gonna double click that and I'm going to change the font to something else. There are a wide variety of fonts in Kittle, so you can just kind of pick and choose the ones that you like. So I think this font will work and I do want it to be all uppercase and then we can sort of resize and recenter just the holidays portion making sure everything looks lined up and I also think it's just a touch too big now so I'm going to resize it recenter it can move it up and down if I would like that looks pretty good and then I do want to change this to my name. So now I have something I can cut out, put the insert behind, and I have something I can write with the foil tool, I could write with pens, whatever, with my Cricut machine. So this one looks pretty good, and we can rename this up here. Then I can go ahead and download it. And again, I am just gonna download it as a ping. Then when we go to upload that, we'll talk about how to upload it to get it into Design Space, where we're gonna make this as written with either pens or the foil tool. So now let's do one more where we're gonna use like cutaway cards with maybe a pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a new project once again. For this one, I'm going to go back to designs again. This design is pretty perfect for a cutaway card. It has a chunky font, everything looks good. Now the background is intended to be printed, but we can just delete that texture off. And now we just have a background color. Now I do wanna add pens at some point. So I'm gonna click text and I'm gonna do add headline. And I'm gonna put my name and I am going to change the font size and then we can move that around and we can change the font to something that will look better written. These fonts will still be an outline in Cricut Design Space unless you wanna add the writing after you upload it into Design Space. So I think that looks pretty good. So again, I am going to download this. Now I have all three of those card files downloaded as ping files. So let's take a look at uploading those to Cricut Design Space. So now we're in Cricut Design Space and we're gonna go ahead and click Upload and upload the first design. So I'm uploading the print and cut design first and I'm just gonna go ahead and click Complex, Continue. I don't have to remove any background because I literally just want to print this. I'm going to put it on the front of a card. So we're gonna click Print and Cut Image and click Upload. Then we'll click the image and click Add to Canvas. And from here we can make a card. So we can resize this to whatever we would like. And what I wanna do is make an entire card that's going to cut with my Cricut machine. So I'm gonna add a square. I'm gonna unlock it. And I want it to be this same size. But we do wanna make sure it fits an envelope or make an envelope with the Cricut machine. So actually if I just resize this just a little bit down, 
I think I have an envelope that will work for this. So I'm gonna go with this and I'm just gonna make this an even number at 5.4 and now it's 3.956. So now we can make this height and remember this needs to be unlocked. And we'll make the height the same as the card. And then we wanna make it about double what this is. So this is right at four. So let's go ahead and make this eight. And now I can arrange, send it back. I'm gonna make this white because I don't want anything to print here. And I'm gonna add my card right to the front. We're gonna pick both of these things and we're gonna align, align top align, align right. So now it's aligned to the top and the right and on my card. But I do wanna make sure this rectangle is exactly double. So 3.956 doubled. So we can either change the card or the rectangle itself. And I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock this and make this four and see if it distorts it. It doesn't, so I'm gonna run with that. So now I'm gonna click them both and do my alignment again. So align top and align right. So now we have a perfect card where half of it is printed and half would not be. And we could even add a score line. So we're gonna do shapes and pick a score line. We do wanna make this line 5.4 exactly what our card is. Then before we add the score line, we wanna pick both of the pieces and click flatten. This makes this one piece. And so now we can put the score line over here and actually it's behind. So we're gonna go ahead and send it to the back. And now we can pick the score line and the card, align and center. And it should fall directly on the center of this card. If it does not, your measurements weren't exactly right. You might wanna go back and try that again. Then we wanna pick both of those and click attach. Now everything's attached together and we're ready to click make it. You can see that the card is going to print and then it will cut around the outside as well as add that score line. So we are gonna click continue and I'm gonna go ahead and print this to some white cardstock and then we'll take a look at what the Cricut machine does when it cuts and scores this project. All right, so now I printed the copies of my card. So the drawback of doing the print and cut with the Cricut would be that it's one sheet per card and you do have the size restriction. So 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches, but that's plenty big for a card in my opinion, so that doesn't bother me. It does waste some ink because you have the black box, but you do get to add the score line if you do it this way. Now you could do the same version with another program, like lay it out to on a sheet or something, make them a little bit smaller, and use just like a paper cutter to do it. That's an option, but I do think the Cricut cutting it and adding the score line is easy. So I just printed several copies of this and added it to my light grip mat. You do wanna make sure that it's added to the mat in the same orientation as it shows in Design Space. And then your Cricut machine will read the box, cut the card, and add the score line to the center. I'm using a white cardstock, I use a medium cardstock setting. It's going to depend on the cardstock you're using, what you would use for that. And my printer works well with this particular brand of cardstock. And then you do wanna flip this over to remove it so your card does not get too curled up. So we're just gonna remove the card from the mat. And then you can just fold along that score line. You can write on the inside whatever your message is and you have a custom holiday card ready with your name on the front. So there's one way to make a custom holiday card with Kittle and your Cricut machine. We did design a couple other cards in Kittle as well, so let's upload those to Cricut Design Space and see how to make those with a card mat this time. So let's upload the next design. So I'm gonna click Upload, Upload Image. I found the image on my computer. I would usually use Complex and click Continue. We will wanna erase the background from this. So with Kittle, if you have the premium subscription, you can erase the background on their website. If not, we're gonna erase the background here. Now the insides of like this bow, I'm gonna need to just leave those because we're gonna do an insert card and I'm not gonna be able to get those insides anyway. However, with the text, I'm gonna need to zoom in here and to get it as best as I can because I do want to write with it. So we wanna remove the insides of all of the letters. You can always preview the cut image, make sure you have it all and then click apply and continue. So now that we have the background removed, everything looks good, we can go ahead and upload it as a cut image. 
You could do a print and cut and change it later either way. Then pick your image and add to canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is divide this into two pieces because I want to write this bottom portion. So we are going to do shapes and use a square. I'm going to unlock that square and draw a square over the portion I want to be written. Then pick both pieces and click slice. Then you should have the wreath that is a cut. We want to delete off everything except our writing here. And I am going to change this to foil with the fine tip. So you should be able to, at this point, read the words. Everything should look pretty good. And now we want to put these two pieces on a card. Now I'm gonna use insert cards for this, but I do wanna make sure everything's the right size. So I'm going to pick a square, unlock it, and the insert card that I'm going to use is 4.25 by 5.5. And now I can make this say some color and I can move it to the back. And now I can put my pieces over this and size them however I would like. So I'm going to size my wreath here, size my writing, and just generally make this how I want it to look. Now for the insert cards, generally there are cuts on the corners where you can just pop it in. I'm gonna actually glue the insert to the back of this one, so cheating a little bit so I don't have to make those lines. But we don't need this square at all. If everything looks good, we don't need it. So I'm gonna delete that. I am gonna make sure these are aligned. So we're gonna center those up. And then I'm gonna pick them both and click attach. So now they're attached together. So I can use an explore machine. I could even use a Cricut Joy here, whatever you wanted to do, just depending on which card mat you have. Now I do have another video on making cards without a card mat that will be applicable to these designs and I will link to that in the description below this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click make it and I'm gonna say on the card mat, click confirm. And the cards I'm using are the 4.25 by 5.5 inch cards, so that's fine. Just make sure everything looks okay. Since I'm using the 2x2 two two mat, I can make more copies if I wanted to, make more cards at one time. So everything looks good here, and I would be ready to cut my card. But let's go ahead and click cancel, and let's work on the cutaway card that we made. So we can maybe do those both at the same time, because I do have cards that same size. So again, we're going to upload in the same manner. So again, I've uploaded the design, I'm erasing everything. The background in this case was red, which is fine. And it sort of shows a red outline, but that's just gonna be my cut lines. So once everything is erased, I can go ahead and click apply and continue. And I can do a cut image once again and click upload. And now I can do this in the same way, except that for the text on this version, I'm gonna make it a pen instead of a foil. And for the cutaway cards, I don't have to worry about like the centers of the letters and things. They will be fine. So let me go ahead and modify this design the same way as I did before. So now I have both my cards designed. I put on a card mat, click confirm, and there are both of my cards ready to be cut. Again, I'm using the 4.25 by 5.5. This one, I'm going to use an insert card with foil. This one, I'm going to use a cutaway card with a pen. So now we'll click continue and go ahead and head to our machine and do that. So I have the foil card on this side, the cutaway card on this side. I went ahead and removed the protective film from the entire mat. For the cutaway card, there is some adhesive inside and you put this good side down on that adhesive. We press that down well. And then we're gonna put that card on this side of the card mat. We will need a pen for this. So remember I did pick a pen design for this version. So we'll just press that down really well to the card mat. And then this side is a foil card. And so we'll wanna put the card itself into the card mat, all the way up, all the way over. Press that down. And then we're gonna add the foil to the front before we actually put it in the machine. So it will draw the foil lines first. So now we'll just tape this foil into place. Now the design was like kind of down on the card, so I'm gonna put it down a little bit. You don't want the foil to touch the mat, but the tape absolutely can. So I'm gonna allow the tape to be on the mat here. We're gonna tape this on all four sides. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pen and my Cricut and this one is ready to go ahead and make. So I picked cutaway cards as my material. I added the white pen and the foil tool to my Cricut because Cricut Design Space said that was first. And now we'll just go ahead and make our cards. Then after these are done, you're just gonna remove them from the mat and remove all of these small pieces. I'll come back and take a look at how to assemble the insert into this one since I actually didn't add the slots for the insert. So here are both the cards after everything's removed. So this is the cutaway card. And for this one, you just remove the cut pieces and all the little centers of letters stay in. This is the insert card. So it comes off looking like this and you need to stick the insert to the inside. So an easy way to do that is just to apply some glue in each of the corners. Then just stick the insert card to the inside. And I am sticking this a little bit up because the only portion I need it behind is up top. So there is my insert card, all done with my foil design at the bottom. So I love the way both of these turned out. This one I actually used the new opaque gel pens on it. So it would really stick out down here at the bottom with the white. So overall I love the way both of these designs turned out. This is a great way to make card designs of your very own with Kittle. So now perhaps you love Kittle as much as I do and you can't wait to get started. A great way to do that is to click like this print and cut card design and just kind of play around with customizing it for yourself or one of these insert cards or cutaway cards and customize that. That's a great place to start and then you can play around with making your own card design. And I have something exciting coming up with Kittle. So on November 9th on my Instagram, so you want to follow me on Instagram, I am going to announce a challenge where you will be designing something in Kittle to enter. And we're going to have great prizes, including my book. So my new Cricut book is going to be included as one of the prizes. So you don't want to miss that. So be sure to head down below, click on the Instagram link, follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that challenge. And you will make a design on Kittle, enter on Kittle, and you can win tons of prizes. So I don't want you to miss that. So hopefully this helps you make your own card designs, whether it's for the holidays or any season. You can use this video as an example of how to make your own print and cut or insert card, cutaway card designs, however you want to make them. So if you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me. Make your own cards on Kittle. I think you will really like it. And go beyond cards. Make shirt designs, sign designs, so much more using the techniques we talked about today. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.